Beautiful day here in central Indiana. We've got a slight breeze, but lots of blue sky and sunshine. That'll make you happy as you uh, step out the doors today. And if you like warmer weather during the fall, I think you're going to like at least Nicole's forecast, which comes, of course, on her birthday. Happy birthday again Thank to you. Thank you. What a yeah. great day to forecast, I know, too. Yeah. Blue skies. I have to be honest, I can't wait to get home and enjoy some of the beautiful weather that's Good. out there. And hopefully everybody, if you're working or maybe you're in school, you're not lucky enough to be on fall right, break, right. plan something outside get this outside, afternoon. outside, you bet. Because you know in a few months we're just going to be saying, that's right. when are we going to hit the 70s exactly, again? Yeah. The question is now, when are we going to get out of the 70s? We have a lot of them coming in the seven-day forecast, including today. Take a look at where we started this morning. We were in the 50s early in the morning, and in some cities that was about 25 degrees warmer than what you woke up to yesterday. We eventually dropped to 47. The average low is 44, and our average high is 64. Look at where we are so far at noon at 65 degrees. So we are definitely already above that average temperature. Winds, however, out of the southwest up to about 15 miles per hour. That's going to be sustained wind speeds. We'll see some gusts today up to 25 miles per hour. We have sustained winds right now in Logansport nearing 20 miles per hour, 13 miles per hour in Sharpsville and 15 miles per hour in Frankfort. This is a view right now from Bloomfield in Greene County. You can see some of the leaves changing as some of those leaves have already fallen off the trees, but beautiful blue skies. And that will continue as we start to go up to the north and west in Crawfordsville. Temperature 63 degrees in Greencastle, 62 in Muncie, 67 in Greensburg, and 65 in Bloomington. These temperatures anywhere from about 4 to even 9 degrees warmer than just 24 hours ago. As we go into the afternoon, we're not expecting much change. Satellite radar is clear, so for us, we are going to continue to see mostly sunny skies. Quick little weather disturbance back off to the west may bring us a slight rain chance as we go into tomorrow. Not coming our way today. In terms of monthly rainfall, it is extremely dry out there. Look how low Lafayette is, less than a tenth of an inch of rain. For Indianapolis, less than a quarter inch of rain for the entire month. Because we've had so much rain during the month of July, we're still above our yearly average by about three and a half inches. But look at July's record rainfall with more than 13 inches of rain. And then really for August, September, and October, we've been below normal, especially for this month. So we are going to have a chance of a little bit of rain as we head into portions of the seven-day forecast. 73 degrees is going to be our afternoon high today. Keep in mind those winds gusting out of the south southwest of 25 miles per hour. 73 in Noblesville, 71 in Muncie, and 71 degrees in Nashville. If you have those evening plans, temperatures remain mild, 62 at 8 o'clock, and then we fall into the 50s by midnight, eventually dropping to 51 degrees tonight. So it'll be another mild start tomorrow morning. And I have to include a slight chance of a sprinkle bright and early on Wednesday. By noon, we're already at 63, and by 4 o'clock, 74 degrees. And while we're in the 70s tomorrow, a few spots in Illinois could hit the 80 degree mark. Here's that slight chance for a sprinkle tomorrow morning. You see it fade away pretty quickly because we have such dry air in place. But as we start to go into your Thursday, we have another chance for a very stray shower. This is something we're going to be watching but for the most part. I'm calling it mainly dry on both Wednesday and Thursday. The next best chance for rain comes on Saturday. That's when we drop to 68 degrees. And if you want it a little cooler, well, that's coming Sunday and Monday with highs in the low 60s. Scott?